All right. So we're back again. Um, we're moving into 3D figures. So we're going to do representations of 3D figures. Okay, so an orthographic drawing of a three-dimensional object shows different views of an object. The six views of the figure at the right are shown below. So if we look at our figure here, if we looked at it from the top, the top would be these four little squares. This one, this one, and these two. Okay, and they all lined up in a row. The bottom would look exactly the same. If you look at it from the front, this is our front view. It's these four squares, and then it goes up one. That would be our front. And then our back view is similar, but when we look at it from the back, it's going to go up here on the side. Now we have our left view. <clears throat> and so your left view is going to be two squares. And your right view is also two squares. So if you look here, it's this bottom square and this top square. And that's all you're going to see for the left and the right. So we're going to go ahead and draw our own isometric figures. Or orthographic drawing, I'm sorry. So it says draw all six orthographic views of the object. Assume that there are no hidden cubes. So we're assuming that there's no cubes that we can't see. We can see all of them. So we have our front. And so our front is going to be three cubes, one, two, and three. And so it is these in the front, this one, and those two. That's what it looks at from the front. And from the back, if we're to look at it from the back, it would be the exact same thing. I'm gonna make it one, two, three little squares. Okay, now we are going to do the top view. <clears throat> so our top view, it's going to look something like an L shape, like this. So our top view is going to look like this, like an L shape. Okay, and then the bottom view bottom, is going to be similar. Still an L shape, but it'll look a little bit rotated. Okay, and that would be our bottom view. And we have our left and our right view. So we have the left view and the right view. Now here we can see the right side of the figure. And so if we look, we have this square and this square right here. So our right, so left, is only going to be two little squares. The same with the right view. Two squares. All right. <clears throat> all right, this next one, number two. So we're going to do all six orthographic drawings. So we have the front and the back. Now, if we look at the front, it's like these little squares. It's kind of like a U shape. Okay, so the front. Here front. It is going to look like a U shape. So we have these, and let's split them up. And then our back view. So if you look at this from the back, it'll look exactly the same. Okay. Now, if we look at the top, so the top section, it would have these three squares running straight across. So the top view is going to look like this. And the bottom view would look exactly the same. It's gonna go one, two, and three. All right, <clears throat> next is going to be the left and the right view. So from here we can see the right view, we would see two squares here. And so this little section here. And that's all we would see from the left and the right. So we're going to put left and then right. And we would see two squares standing up on top of each other. And that's it. All right. <clears throat> an isometric drawing. It's a drawing on an isometric dot paper and shows three sides of a figure from corner, from a corner view. A solid and an isometric drawing of the solid are shown. So they give us an example here, and we're going to go ahead and try to draw this ourselves. 
<clears throat> so if we look here, um, we have this figure. Now our isometric drawing, instead of being like in straight, straight across, you can see how the dots are a little bit diagonal, they're staggered. So the way that we are going to <clears throat> um, draw this is we start off with the top part. So if we look at this top little square, let me go ahead and copy it down. We have this little square here, so that's exactly where I'm going to start. So I start making that one, going diagonally. Okay, and that's that top cube. <clears throat> from there, I'm going to count. So this one goes down one, two spaces. So from here, I'm going to go down one, two spaces. And then from the next point, I'm going to go down one, two, and three spaces. So one, two, and three spaces. And then this back part, this back part goes down one, two, and three spaces. So one, two, and three spaces. Okay. So then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and connect the lines. Goes this way. Goes this way. This way. And then now I am going to have to draw this top cube right here. Okay, because we can see the top of this cube. So I'm going to make that top cube right there. And from that point on this side, it goes one unit down. So I'm going to go one unit down here. On this one, I'm going to go one down. So here, I'm going to go one down. And then I just go ahead and finish off the rest of that cube. All right, so let's go ahead and try the next one. Okay, we do the same thing. We start off with this top one right here. Except instead of just being one cube, this one's actually two cubes. So that's what we're going to draw first at the top. So here is, instead of being one, we're going to go over two cubes, and that is going to be that top portion. Okay. And we count to see how many lines we go down. So from this corner, we only go down one, so I'm going to go down one. From this one, we go down two spaces, so I'm going to go down one, two. From this point, we go down two spaces, so one, two. From this point, we go down two spaces, so one, Okay, so then from there, I just draw in the cubes. So I connect to draw in the cubes. Okay, and then we have this top view of this little cube right here. So we're going to have to make that top view of the cube. And then from that cube, we go one down here. And then one down right here. Okay, and then I just connect them together. All right, so foundation drawing shows the base of a structure and the height of each part. So if we look, they take the top view. So this is our top view. And then they write on top of it how many little cubes make up the foundation. So for example, here, this is two cubes because this piece right here is two cubes tall. If we look here, this one is also two. Because this whole section right here, if you notice, this whole section right here, that's why this is all two, two, and two. And then this front section here is only one cube tall, so that's why these are one. So we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to make a foundation. So I take the top view. And so it is a total of eight squares all lined up. So there's my foundation. Now this first one is made up of three cubes. So I'm gonna put a three here. And then so is this whole section right here. This whole section here is made up of three cubes each. So I'm gonna put these in here. And then this last section is made of two cubes each. So two, 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 and two. And that's your foundation drawing. <clears throat> All right, the next one. Number six, we do the same thing. We make the top view. And then inside each little square, we say how many blocks make it up. So this first section right here, this one is made up of two cubes. And then this section here is made up both of just only one cube. So that is what we call a foundation drawing. 
Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments or come by our office hours so we can help you guys out. Um, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.